The CRV methodology covered in this course faces limitations in two cases, when the target is analytical and when the target is in the future. When the target is analytical by nature, abstract mental objects such as numbers, letters, or addresses are analytical constructs that involve the left brain, the analytical brain. Using this part of the brain can lead to significant mental noise and analytical overlay, triggering an interpretation that is usually wrong. When the target is in the future. In quantum physics, the future is probabilistic, meaning that there is not one, but a range of possible outcomes. Even if our future is predetermined, we can still influence it. That's why it's challenging to correctly determine a target in the future or an event that will happen in the future. Let's take the example of Michael. Michael is a young 16 year old. He's really good at basketball and has the potential to become an NBA player. Michael has several options in front of him right now. Michael could get a university degree. He could train to become an athlete. He could decide to do nothing, stay at home and watch TV all day, or he could get a full-time job somewhere else. Based on Michael's decision, his life will take a different path. That's why it's hard, it's challenging to predict the future. However, with associative remote viewing, ARV, as opposed to controlled remote viewing, CRV, we can solve part of these two limitations. ARV is covered in our most advanced level course.